The Crony Penny model, named after Ralph Crony and William Penny, is a simple idealized quantum mechanical system that consists of a finite periodic array of rectangular potential barriers. The potential function is approximated by a rectangular potential as shown in this figure. The Crony Penny model is a strongly simplified one dimensional quantum mechanical model of a crystal. Despite of the simplifications, the electronic band structure obtained from this model shares many features with band structures that result from more sophisticated models. Croning Penny model says when an electron moves through a lattice of positive ions, it experiences varying potentials. The potential of an electron at the positive ion side is zero and it is maximum in between two ions as shown in this diagram. Croning and Penny suggested a simplified model where atoms are represented as one dimensional infinite row of rectangular potential veil which is separated by barriers of width small b. Each veil has width b and depth v0. The interatomic spacing is represented as a small a. The period of potential is a plus b which is clearly shown in this diagram. The animation of Crony Penny model is shown in figure number 3. This is the band structure of the Crony Penny model. As you gradually turn on the potential, the black rectangles, and see the colored bands begin to split. The horizontal axis is in K space, which is not real. So the spacing of the barriers and the veils isn't meaningful in an absolute sense and is merely for decoration. The height of the barriers in terms of the vertical energy scale is correct as well as the relative sizing of the barriers and the veils. It is not easy to solve Schrodinger's equation with these potentials. So Crony and Penny approximated these potentials inside the crystal to the shape of rectangular steps as shown in this figure number 4. This model is called croning penny model of potentials. In order to find the allowed energies of electrons in solids, we have to apply Schrodinger's wave equation for an electron in a crystal lattice. By solving this Schrodinger's wave equation using Bloch theorem, we get energy capital E versus momentum small k as shown in this diagram. In croning penny model, the energies of electrons can be known by solving a Schrodinger's wave equation in such a lattice. The Schrodinger's time independent wave equation for the motion of an electron along x direction is given by d square psi by dx square plus 2m upon h bar square in bracket capital E minus capital V of x bracket complete of psi is equal to zero. Let's say this is equation number one. The energies and wave functions of the electrons associated with this model can be calculated by solving time independent one dimensional Schrodinger's wave equation for the two regions one and two as shown in figure number four. The Schrodinger's equations are first for the region First, at 0 is less than x is less than small a, the potential energy capital V is equal to 0. Therefore, d square psi by dx square plus 2m upon h bar square into capital E into psi is equal to 0. Let's say this is equation number 2. Now, for the region 2, at minus b is less than x is less than 0. Potential energy capital V is equal to V naught. Therefore, the above equation can be written as d square psi by dx square plus 2m upon h bar square in square bracket 
capital E minus V naught bracket complete into psi is equal to zero. Let's say this is equation number three. We define two real quantities, let's say alpha and beta, such as alpha square is equal to 2me upon h bar square. Let's say this is equation number four. And beta square is equal to 2m upon h bar square in bracket v naught minus capital E. Let's say this is equation number five. Hence equation number two and equation number three can be written as Therefore, d square psi by dx square plus alpha square into psi is equal to 0 for 0 is less than x and x is less than small a. Let's say this is equation number 6. And d square psi by dx square minus beta square psi is equal to 0 for minus b is less than x is less than 0. Let's say this is equation number 7. According to Bloch theorem, the wave function solution of the Schrodinger's equation when the potential is periodic and to make sure the function u of x is also continuous and smooth. So that can be written as sub x is equal to exponential of i k x into small u of x. Let's say this equation number 8. In this equation, u of x is a periodic function which satisfies u of x plus a small a is equal to u of x. Using block theorem and all the boundary conditions for the continuity of the wave function, the solution of Schrodinger's wave equation obtained as in first bracket small m capital V naught a b upon h bar square into bracket sine of alpha a upon alpha a bracket complete plus cos alpha a is equal to cos k a. Let's say this is equation number 9 where alpha is equal to under root of 2 m e upon h bar square. The energy capital E is restricted to lie within certain ranges. Capital P into bracket sine of alpha into a divided by alpha a bracket complete plus cos alpha a is equal to cos k a. Let's say this is equation number 10 where capital P is equal to small m capital V naught a b upon h bar square. So we just simplified the equation number 9. This equation number 10 shows the relation between the energy through alpha and the wave vector small k. The above equation provides allowed solutions to the Schrodinger's equation. Due to cosine term, the right hand side varies between plus 1 and minus 1. And so left hand side is also allowed to vary between these two values. Thus, only certain values of alpha are possible. As alpha is equal to under root of 2m capital E upon h bar square, the energy capital E is restricted to lie within the certain ranges. Therefore, the relation between energy capital E and the wave number small k is a periodic. The motion of free electron is interrupted at certain values of small k as shown by the broken curves in this diagram that is the figure number 5. The plot also shows discontinuities in energy of electron at small k is equal to plus minus pi upon a plus minus 2 pi upon a plus minus 3 pi upon a. These gaps correspond to energy bands inside the solids. Thus the energy level of electron in crystal lattice is discrete. The dotted line representing the motion of a free electrons. As electron is moving in periodic potential, it appears that there are gaps which open in energy spectrum at an integer of k into a upon pi. The gaps correspond to energy bands inside the solids. Thus, the energy level of an electron in crystal lattice is discrete. <laughs>